Hi friend, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is regarding the growth and development for the infant. What are the growth and development happen during the time of infant? So infant you know, what is the age duration. So in that growth and development you have to mention first the introduction. After that identification also you can mention. After identification you have to mention that antenatal history, terminal history and maternal history. So during the birth history you have to mention. After that family history, family composition, present medical history, past medical history. So you have to mention for the past medical history for the mother, medical and surgical history. Because the new infant baby know any past medical and surgical history. If there you can mention it. Then degree of mensuration you have to mention. In that growth and development, immunization history and growth and development chart you have to mention. Immunization history every age. What are the immunization vaccine he taken? He can mention it. You can mostly mention that physical examination. You have to examine the infant. How to take examine each part? You have to examine any abnormalities is present. You can mention it. Each part you have to mention. After physical examination, you can mention it a growth and development chart. In that growth and development chart, the most important that present picture and book picture. In that normal book history, what are the growth and development happening for the infant? And for the patient, what are the growth and development happening? We have to separate in the patient picture and book picture. So after growth and development, you can mention it that in that growth and development also motor history, psychological development, each development you can separate, spiritual development, everything you have to separate and ignorate. The growth and development is most important after last in the bibliography. So I hope this video helpful for you. Thanks for watching this video.